Today, I will be announcing the results to the Nintendo Awards 2021 event. Thank you so much to everyone who voted. I'm sure you're excited to see what the best Nintendo games of the year are according to your votes, and I am too, so let's get started. The first category is the best Nintendo Direct. There were three Nintendo Directs this year, and the best one is... The E3 Nintendo Direct with 60% of the votes. The other two Directs this year tied for second with 20% of the votes apiece. This category is similar to the last because this is going over the best reveal or announcement for a game. The winners of this category are... The Splatoon 3 announcement and the new Breath of the Wild trailer, both of which got 40% of the votes. The Bayonetta 3 trailer and Pyra slash Mithra Smash Bros announcement got a few votes as well. Next up is the best DLC, and the winner of this category is... Animal Crossing New Horizons Happy Home Paradise DLC, which got half of the total votes. Two Age of Calamity DLCs and three Smash Bros DLCs all tied for second with 8.3% of the votes apiece. The category for best multiplayer wasn't much of a competition because the winner of this category got 62.5% of the total votes. That winner is... Mario Party Superstars. WarioWare Get It Together, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, and Game Builder Garage shared the remaining 38.5% of the votes. The next category is the most creative game. This category represents the most unique and in interesting games of 2021. The winner of this category is... Game Builder Garage, with 43.8% of the votes. WarioWare Get It Together came in a relatively close second with a quarter of the total votes, and four other games shared the rest. The category of Best Story is another category with two winners. The winners of this category are... Metopia and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind, both of which got 25% of the total votes. The remaining 50% was shared by Famicom Detective Club The Missing Heir, Metroid Dread, Skyward Sword HD, and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond slash Shining Pearl. There were only three new Mario games this year, but the best of the bunch according to your votes is... Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury with half of the total votes. Mario Party Superstars came in second, with Mario Golf Super Rush in a distant third. The Best Porter Remake of 2021 was another category where one game dominated. The winner of this category is... Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury again. The two Famicom Detective Club remakes, Metopia and Skyward Sword HD, made up the remaining votes. This category is the opposite of the last one, because this category only contains original games, no ports. The winner of this category is... Metroid Dread with 50% of the total votes. Mario Party Superstars came in second with a quarter of the total votes, with WarioWare Get It Together and Big Brain Academy Brain vs. Brain sharing the remaining 25%. And now, the announcement you have all been waiting for, the best Nintendo game of 2021. This category was closer than many of the others, but the winner still got about double the votes at second place. The Nintendo Game of the Year is... Metroid Dread. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury was second, Miitopia and Mario Party Superstars tied for third, and the two Famicom Detective Club games and WarioWare Get It Together tied for fourth. Thank you so much for watching and participating in the second annual Nintendo Awards. It was really interesting to see what you guys thought about the Nintendo games of 2021. It's been a lot of fun, and I'm excited to do it again in 2022.